The path to doing things that have never been done before is fraught with dead companies. We were told that you, you just can't build a system like this. It's, it's too big, it's too complex. Look, what we're doing, it's not impossible, but if it wasn't really difficult, it would have been done before. Jonathan's companies are started from a desire to touch the lives of those he loves and those around us. So it's not an optional thing. I didn't start the company and say, we're optionally going to make an imaging device. I started it because my daughter has growth in her kidney, and we had to be able to look at them and monitor them without driving to Boston every day. The problem is that we discovered that ultrasound hasn't really changed in over 50 years. So you'll see immediately you have a laptop weighing about 20 pounds. You then have three different transducers. They each cost $8,000. Why don't we use modern computing technology to fundamentally change how we image the body? We put everything that's in that probe, that's in that cart, all on a semiconductor chip. Once you put something on a chip, you can make it in massive quantities at super low cost. And no one had ever done this before. It's a $2,000 ultrasound machine that can do all of the things that a $50,000 ultrasound machine can do. This is a device that you just plug it in, ask me if I want to scan, and then right then and there, I can be scanning. So not only did we put an ultrasound on a, on a chip, but we added some smart software and some artificial intelligence. So we work with a, a smartphone, whether Android or Apple, so anybody can use it. We want to take medical imaging and put it in the hands of as many people as possible. So now, right now, there are about 40 million people around the globe who are in the healthcare profession. Only 1% of them have access or had access to medical imaging. And now we're, we're democratizing it. The first impact that our device will have and is already having are in developing countries around the world. And sometimes the travel times is a day to days in some areas, especially in the remote areas of Kenya. But now with Butterfly available in the facilities, then patients don't have to travel far distances to get their diagnosis. We don't maximize profits. We maximize societal impact. Profits and investments uh, will come. The real adrenaline rush, the thing that keeps us moving, and pushing every day to do impossible things, is connecting with our clients, connecting with the physicians, and seeing the impact in the field. We got a, a message from one of our doctors saying, you know, I saved someone's life with this today. And that was a really important moment for me. I was kind of paralyzed in my seat. It's like I'd been working on this all of these years, and this was the moment. Uh, someone is alive today because I did this and they wouldn't have been if I hadn't. And, and, and that, to me, is the biggest motivation. This is a perfect example of disruptive technology always seems to be before its time, and that traditional thinking really doesn't apply when you're wanting to do something that's never been done before. And so we did stuff that other people thought was unreasonable. And uh, as you know, you know, all progress is made by the unreasonable person.